Hello ladies and gentlemen and today we have What If, another reaction to Marvel's What If. Today we have What If Episode 3. This one's called What If the World Lost Its Mightiest Heroes. That's interesting. Now again, before we get started, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, really appreciate that. Check out some of my other videos because just a few days ago I posted my trailer reaction to Spider-Man No Way Home. The most anticipated trailer of the year finally dropped this week and I posted my trailer reaction to that, so check it out. Surprisingly on my channel, somehow the Eternals trailer is doing much better than the No Way Home trailer. Let's see if we can get those numbers up on the No Way Home trailer. Really appreciate that. That was a hype trailer. We did a little discussion about it. We analyzed it a little bit. We even sat down and scrolled through the YouTube video and analyzed it a little bit. I had fun doing that. But today, we have What If Episode 3. And honestly, I don't know what today's episode is going to be about. The first two episodes, I kind of saw the promotional footage and kind of got the gist of what the What If scenario is. Like the first one, they posted the Peggy Carter, the premiere thing, all over their social medias. Marvel, that is. She was all over social media, and you were like, all right, so this one's like, what if Peggy Carter got the super soldier serum, right? And then the last episode, it was uh, potentially Chadwick Boseman's last performance as T'Challa, and last performance ever. We had a really fun episode where T'Challa became Star-Lord. That one was also a given through the promotion and everything. But I haven't really been paying attention to the promotions for this episode, and I just kind of have no idea what the what-if scenario is. I mean, the title says... What if the world lost its mightiest heroes? And I kind of wish I didn't read the description because, I mean, the, the description says Nick Fury struggles to launch the Avengers when candidates are targeted by a serial killer. Yeah, I mean, I have really nothing else to say. Last week's episode was really fun with an emotional punch there at the end with the tribute to Chadwick Boseman, with a little tribute to Chadwick Boseman. And yeah, I like these. These are like little snack bites animation funs that Marvel Studios is doing. Yeah, let's hop into uh, <clears throat> What If Episode 3. No, we are not skipping the intro once again. Oh, no, remember, remember, don't look at the, don't look at the actors' names on the intro list because that shit gives away what character is going to show up in this What If scenario. Monday. There was an Monday. idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if they could become something more. Bet the future of the Avengers initiative on that. Hey, there's the famous shot from Iron Man 2 of Tony on a donut. Contrary to your belief, you are not the center of my. He really didn't like him in Iron Man 2. Hey, what'd she just do to me? What symptoms? Stark, you okay? Um, hello. Tony, he's dead. What? Humanity. Oh, nice transition. And just like that, Tony Stark's dead. Did Natasha kill him? Isn't like Fury going around to collect the Avengers known as like Fury's big week or something? Because it all happened in one week. Sir. Interesting. Kind of in the middle Coulson! of find out who. Sure you want to take another big swing on It's definitely thoughts? Hydra. That I'll ever make. Right? Cause at this time Hydra is within Shield. So it is kinda operating inside. It did something before we get started. Wow. So serious. Oh, I thought she was gonna drop the cap line. <laughs> How did she get out? Wait, where'd she get out out of? Really great hair. Excuse me? It's an accurate description. Sir, he's gorgeous. Colson fell in love. I mean, it is Chris Hemsworth at store. Even in the animated version. Damn it, Mark. I told you to stay Hello? Me. I did. It wasn't me. I didn't shoot. Interesting. The two assassins from the Avengers, Natasha and Barton, both killed Tony and Thor. Or they were blamed. Two assassins of the Avengers. Oh, Barton's now dead. Uh oh. How could this? Who did you let in It's here? definitely Hydra. No one. <sighs> wow. Even while rotting, he smells like lavender. Really? What was that sniff? Come on, man. He's dead. No, there's not a lot. Jeez, three Avengers down. 
that's crazy wednesday a marvel studios animated murder mystery whodunit wait how is she gonna take barton's death i completely forgot about this no betty you violence. are terrible at hiding things up. that's probably not gonna work out for anyone i feel like his voice doesn't fit the animation yeah i just it just looks weird Look at him just watching. What the hell? Uh oh, low or time God of Sorry, gotta, gotta, Mischief. gotta pick gonna up. Take that. It's I'm in the middle of something here. Oh shit! This is the tunnel where he then I guess explodes. What are you dealing with? Show off. I don't know if right now is a good time to joke around, Natasha. You just found out you're. Best friend Barn died. Hey, hey, don't shoot. Uh oh, transform. Not us, sir. We're clear. Everything's just going wrong for Nick Fury at Shield. What the fuck? Oh god, what is that? Uh oh. Oh no, is he gonna explode? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so gross. Bruh. He just blew up like a balloon and popped. Oh. Oh, that's disgusting. Rise of Midgard's son to deliver my brother's assassin. Or I will reduce this planet to ash and ice. Yeah, I guess, Loki. I still can't get over the fact that Bruce Banner just popped like a balloon. That's crazy. Somebody's here to kill you, Romanoff. I wonder who it is. Hmm. I literally have no guesses. Uh, I don't know. Is it Steve? Wait, I haven't seen Steve yet. I mean, is he under ice? Like, what is it? What's up with that? Is it Hope? No, it's not Hope. Is it Jane Van Dyke? I did see her name. Or the Wasp? It's the Wasp? Okay, it is Hope. She's super tiny, so she somehow got the poison in him. Got into Barton, got him. Fired an arrow out of nowhere. That's that's why nobody can see her. Supposed to fight the battles we can't. I wrote the speech. He never got to deliver his speech. Thursday. That was all happened on Wednesday. Jeez, that's rough. I do love that. I love that. The Watcher. Agent of Shield. Hank Pym. The balls you have to come here. Oh, it's Hank. It's not Hope. Agent Hope Van Dyne Jeez. was killed on a mission outside Odessa, Ukraine. He grew inside of him. Oh my god, his heart grew bigger. Oh, the Bruce Banner thing is still so gross. Ooh. Oh, bitch slapped you. Get out of here, Hank. Oh! Alright, Nick. You're still, uh... Pretty spry for a guy with a corner office. Jesus. Fucking. That was awesome. The Ant Man style of fights and just the way they do it all, it's great in animation and it's great in live action. I love it. The best stuff the Ant Man movies have to offer is the shrinking down and getting bigger technology and how they incorporate that into fights. Oh, it's an illusion. <laughs> Loki. Where are you going? Where are you going? People willing to give their lives for something greater than themselves. Loki, the to good save guy. The world from men like you. I might extend my stay here on Midgard. For how long? Mm, I don't like that. Oh, what the hell is happening, Friday? He's not about to take over, is he? So He's giving the same speech he gave in Avengers. To help you fulfill your destiny. More than a team, they were an idea. Damn, they already designed the little nice caskets for them. Humanities. Welcome back, Captain. So, where's the fight? Ha ha ha! Ah, he wasn't talking about Cap. He was talking about Cap. 
So that was What If Episode 3 and basically all of our favorite Avengers died even before the Avengers plan could get off the ground. That was really interesting. I like the whole murder mystery whodunit aspect of this episode. They really took it to the very end of the episode to reveal who it was, even threw you for a little loop there by saying it's all about a hope and I was sitting here being like yeah it's Hope Van Dyke, the Wasp, but why? And then no it turned out to be Hank because Hope actually went and became like an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. and she died on a mission or something and Hank was like getting revenge I guess. I still can't get over Bruce Banner went out in like the worst way. His heart grew so big that he exploded like a balloon. Oh this is the kind of stuff that you can only do in animation. IRL or uh, in live action that would look just awful to look at that would leave some kids having nightmares of that my only problem my only slight problem that i'm kind of running into these episodes with is because they are so short they're all 33 minutes long the last one was 35 minutes long but i don't know the credits or whatever but they're all so short that you just kind of have to fly through everything and you just kind of have to agree with everything like for example you know in a regular live action thing where it would be longer Natasha would discover that Clint died and maybe mourn him a little bit. In this one character just kind of move on, move on, move on real quick. Natasha finds out that Clint died, gets a little bit sad, goes on with Hulk like two minutes later cracking joke. She's all fine. She doesn't care about Clint Barton anymore. This is animated and, you know, it is snack bite thing. So it's just kind of how you have to take. You just kind of have to nod your way along and be like, yep, let's do this. I guess this is happening now. And this is another what if scenario that is setting up a potential story that could continue from this. Now I'm wondering if three episodes deep now, all three episodes have had this cliffhanger ending where they set up the future. I'm wondering if we're ever going to explore that. In the last episode, they did set up that ego and how he went and recruited the normal Peter Quill. So it's probably going to be easier to get Peter Quill on his side. And in that episode, the Watcher did say that, well, this will be a story for another time. Now, does that mean season two? That's what season two is going to be about. Expanding on these episodes. Like, Loki took over the planet in this episode. And then Captain Marvel showed up. And she's potentially going to fight alongside Captain America. Just them two, because all the other Avengers are dead. And Nick Fury is going to be on their team. So, when are we going to explore these future stories? Is it going to be in a potential season two? Or is it going to be potentially, like, way down the line? Or... Are we just not going to touch upon them at all? Because the first episode ended with Peggy coming out of the portal and she's the new Captain America, right? That one, I guess, well, she's not new Captain America. She's Captain Carter, but she comes out of the portal. So I guess that one you could probably just leave and never touch again because people would presume that, well, she just takes up Cap's spot on the Avengers roster. And in this episode, it definitely left on a cliffhanger. You know, Captain Marvel's here, Loki took over the planet, so... Where do we go from here? I think this is how I'm going to approach them now. Try to avoid all the promotional material for the What If series and just go into these What If scenarios blind and not know anything about them because I think that's probably the, the best way to kind of experience them because every episode is a new adventure. It's not a continuous story. So going into every episode with a fresh mind and not know anything, that's probably going to be the best way to explore them. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you thought about What If Episode 3. Did you think that Hulk went out in the most brutal way possible? Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Check out some of my other videos. Check out my reaction to the Spider-Man No Way Home teaser trailer. That trailer was insane. I had a good time recording that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.